Cheers, guys. Mm. Welcome back to another DIY little makeover vlog. So I said when we did our little half bathroom remodel, that was probably about all the remodels I had left. Well, not really. I lied. I keep thinking of things to redo in our new house here and that's just how I am. I love decorating and doing little makeovers and stuff. Who knows, you might see more after this one. But anyways, today is the entryway and we are doing a fun little makeover. So it's a pretty small, basic little entryway, nothing dramatic going on in there. But I'm excited to kind of change things up a little bit, give it a little bit of color and dimension and just make it super cozy and inviting when you walk in. If you have watched all of our remodels, you know I am a lover of like the boho style I love like warm, fresh, bright areas and then with like little touches of color and plants. And so that's exactly what we're doing in the entryway. We're doing a little bit of dimension by adding some board and batten. I've done board and batten many, many times and I love it. It just adds like extra character to the room. We're gonna be doing some painting, new wall art, um, decor, you know, all the things. So I'm so excited to get started here on our entryway makeover. But first we need some coffee. Mmm, they're so good. All right, so the very first thing we're gonna do here is do the board and batten. So I'll be wrapping the board and batten just right there in that little corner and then along this wall here. So I'm gonna get my ruler and start putting lines on where I'm gonna be making the wall about three quarter way, even though we have like really tall ceilings right here, so it's not like three quarter way because it's not like your standard eight foot, nine foot walls or whatever. Make my line of how far we're going up and then we can start painting. So I'm just measuring from the floor up to 61 inches. So that's where I'll end the board and batten. I'll just make little marks all the way around and that will be my guide. All right, so I got my paint here and I'm literally using the exact same paint that I painted like all earth from here in our house. Um, because it's kind of the board and batten and it's gonna be a white board and batten. I didn't want it to be like different whites. White is not tinted, it is straight out of the can, pure white paint. So I figured I'm doing white, might as well just keep it all the same so that it's all the same color, all white trim, all board and batten will be the same white, like everything. I realized there's not much paint left though, so <laughs> I'll probably be able to get started and then we'll have to go get more paint. The nice thing about painting this bad and born area is because it's the exact same color as the trim, we don't have to rip the trim off because if I get paint on the trim, it's the same color. <laughs> So that's okay. I mean, we have to do a second coat anyways. Um, it just sucks because I was really hoping to get at least the first coat on, but that's how it goes. <laughs> we went and got more paint at Home Depot and everything has two coats on it now. So we can start the board and batten. Woohoo! So we are literally using the exact same trim that we use in our house. It's three and a half inch MDF board. And we had a ton of leftover when we were doing all the trim work here in our home. And so it's nice. We really didn't have to go buy much. Everything's like already kind of painted. <laughs> I mean, I do have to do some touch up, but it's pretty sweet. We can just kind of roll with what we already had. It's like the best when you have everything. <laughs> So this little itty bitty area is finished. We just put the three boards up with our nail gun. Easy peasy, not doing anything here. So now we can do the swab. The shirts and graces when we're in an iron dress. We're all on time for things, they're at least 15 late. That's just a couple things. So if you kind of saw, we just start. We just took middle from each section. So first we did the middle board, and then we took the middle of these two and found middle, and then middle from those two and found middle. So that's how we did those measurements so that it all was even. All right, so we got the trim up top. We got all the batten, board batten pieces, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Vince is drilling a hole in our door. What are you? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. 
don't break my door. So we picked up one of these little people since we don't have a window or anything up here and we're just not wanting to like replace our front door yet since we just moved here. So maybe one day we'll do that. But for now, we just bought this little peephole thing so we can look out um, from our front door. Um, we do have a camera system. However, sometimes it's nice to just kind of peek out once in a while. So I'm putting a little itty bitty shelf up on the top of this. I'm gonna be staining this, but literally it's just a very narrow, like two and a half inch little like shelf all the way around. And I wanted to incorporate like some natural wood elements because I just love natural wood. So I figured this would be a nice little way to kind of incorporate that. So what I'm gonna be staining the top of the like the little shelf area is the Early American by Minwax. There they all are, stained with early American. It's such a pretty, like, light, mellow, warm wood tone. I love, like, staining wood because I just love how, like, the stain just pulls out, like, all the different character of the wood. All right, I'm gonna throw a quick clear coat on that wood I just stained. This is what I use, polycrylic. It is a game changer. I've been using this for years and years and years, and I'm just doing the clear. Done. This protects the wood and then it also make it easier to clean when you have like raw wood It's kind of hard to always like wipe it down and clean it So when you put a nice clear coat on it, it's nice and smooth and easier to clean So I just went through filled all the holes of the trim that we popped in with the nail holes here And I always use this plastic wood get it at Home Depot. It's the dap. It's fantastic All right, so we're gonna run to at home really quick and look and see what they got for some items. I'm um, just looking for some decor items for the entryway. Um, I was gonna go check out Hobby Lobby, but they're closed on Sunday. So at home it is. It was a success. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see my cart? Yeah, they had so much cute like little like bohemian southwest type decor Which I love so much and like if you guys have ever been to one of those stores You'll know what I mean like it's just aisles and aisles and aisles of furniture and decor and pillows rugs like I mean They have like everything you can think of like it's crazy how big the store is so we definitely succeeded I bought more than I probably need I always do that when I go shopping so I find a bunch of stuff I like I just buy it and then I return what I don't need after I design what I'm working on so love that store that was one store we never had in Minnesota but if we did it was in the cities which was like two hours away from me so I would have never went there anyways back in my gross paint clothes. <laughs> um, but now we're doing some more painting and I'm painting our front door. So I just got it all cleaned and we took the knobs off and all the things. So got it prepped and ready for painting. And it's kind of a dramatic paint color, um, but I'm excited. All right, you guys, check it out. We're going black. <laughs> so because like this little entryway area has so many doors in it there's the closet the bathroom I mean there's two like there's a lot going on with the white doors so I'm like front door we're gonna change it up so that's why we're going black and I'm so excited to see how this looks I've never had a black door so just first for everything <laughs> I'm gonna start from the top I do the little squares first and then I always do like the outside after I do the squares First coat is on. It's gonna need two, definitely, maybe even three. <laughs> Gotta love painting with dark, dark colors, especially black. All right, you guys, so I bought some really cute little coat hooks from Amazon. I have to show you them. They're just like these tiny little wooden pegs. It comes with like a six pack. I'll leave the link below, but yeah. They're just like super modern and cute. So the screw is on and you literally twist this up. <laughs> That's craziness. All right, that's probably good. There it is. It's angled. Yeah, 
cute. So we went to Target because I wanted to do like a mural kind of above the long wall there on, on top of like the border baton area. So I picked up these really big 16 by 20 picture frames from Target. So if you have followed along in all our room remodels here on our home since moving to Colorado, you know I get all my prints from Etsy. <laughs> I love Etsy for prints. They have so many designs and you can get any size you need them and it's just like perfect. Supporting local people too, which is always great. So highly recommend if you're looking for any type of prints or a wall art for your home, go to Etsy. You download them, you have them forever. You can make as many prints as you want. Check these out, you guys. So these are prints from like Arizona. I absolutely loved the color tone of these and just the pictures. Like they just like called me. So look at this. Just got it in this frame. I freaking love these photos like they're just so pretty there they are they're all framed i just wanted to show you them before i hang them it comes as a three-piece set so they just they're beautiful so i just went to hobby lobby and i found some more goodies and they had some really great 50 percent off sales on like wall decor floral all the things so i actually ended up not spending too much here but i just wanted to show you a few things i picked up i just bought a whole bunch of stuff i liked and i'll probably return half of it <laughs> that's how i roll first i found this really cute wall macrame hanger and it was only well it was $17.99 but it was half off so it was like eight dollars it's so cute on this really cute macrame planter holder which I absolutely love this was only ten dollars and I think it was half off because it's a wall hanging <laughs> so it's like crazy cheap and then for this guy I found this little floral thing to put in it half off I don't even know how much this was oh $10.99 and it was half off and then they had this cute little cactus for half off and this was like yeah eight dollars and then i found this other cute little like a faux planter tiny you can hang it um 13.99 and half off and then i found these really pretty decorative beads that were half off i think they were 20 dollars. got them for 10 and they're just kind of pretty. I just thought maybe hang them. I don't know. We'll see. Pretty sure I will not be using all this. Um, however, I just bought it all and we're going to see how it looks once I kind of get everything decorated. All right, you guys. It's done. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Like, love it. <laughs> it's like nice, pretty, simple updates. And it's just enough to make that little area just like perfect. So before I show you, let me remind you what it looked like before we started this little makeover. Pretty boring, right? But <laughs> not anymore. Check this out. You guys, I am so, so obsessed and I just absolutely love this whole transformation. I mean, a lot of simple little pieces just really make a really big impact in this area. The black door, which you guys, I was scared to paint our front door black. Like, I don't know. I just, I've never had like black doors. I'm just vibing with all the black and a black front door. Why not? You guys just do it. If you like it, do it, right? It's just paint. And then my second favorite piece, of course, are these beautiful wall art. Love the tone and the feel of them. Having our new board and batten here just gives that nice separation to make that perfect look of like a gallery wall. So I absolutely love it. And I'm so happy we added this wood piece on top it just brings a little bit more warmth in here with like all the white and the black um i just love warm natural tones and i thought that was perfect and it added just a nice little pop here so can't have a space without some plants and because there's no light here we had to of course do a fake plant there but love it so um i've kind of already went over a lot of these items so i'll leave the link in the description of all the items i don't know if i'll be able to find like all these items from at home and hobby lobby i'll see i'll look for the links if i can find them online and you can definitely check it out but if they're not in the description i couldn't find the links okay <laughs> so i hope you found this video inspiring and gave you some ideas if you are remodeling your entryway and this is a small little entryway but you can always make a big impact on small areas it's perfect so <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching if you have any questions of course comment below and 
We'll see you guys in the next vlog. I have no idea what I'll be remodeling next, but whatever it is, you know I'll be vlogging it. So be sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and we'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye guys.